the Calgary Police Service training facility, where officers hone their skills to make split-second life and death decisions. You'll see when it blinks in and out, that means he's actually blinking at that time. Just like the situation in this police training exercise, an officer arrives to find a man standing at a table. The man quickly spins around and the officer is faced with a split-second decision. Shoot or hold your fire. Is that a gun he's holding or just a cell phone? On the range, officers learn how to fire their weapons. In the classroom, Joan Vickers usually works with elite athletes. Uh, the question is, can anyone maintain their focus and their concentration under the extreme pressure of a firearms encounter? Using an eye tracker device that follows the movements of the eye, Vickers found that elite athletes and police officers fix their sights on a target and don't refocus on their weapon. Vickers discovered what is called the quiet eye. It's the last thing that you see before you have to make a critical movement. So in this police study, it was what, you, what your eye was stable on for at least 100 milliseconds before you pull the trigger. That red cursor that you see, the little one, shows his eye move. Those are fixations when they're stable. And he's trying to figure out left hand, right hand, where exactly is this gun that I told, that, or this weapon or this problem that I've been told I might have to deal with. When the eye moves across really quick, watch, this is called a sack aid when it moves across real quick to the other side. He's going over there and waiting for it. Now he knows he's got a serious problem. All right, and he's got about a half a second from this point to deal with this problem. Vickers' study revealed officers with the quiet eye had more accurate shots and were better able to identify when the weapon was merely a cell phone. In traditional modes of training, uh, universally, uh, officers and sports people, sports shooters, they're taught to look down at the sights and line the sights up. And then number three, look up and find the target. Somewhere in becoming an elite performer, and we found this in a number of studies here and in other places, they changed that gaze control. So that if you're one of the best shooters in the world, whether you're an Olympic shooter or you're a police officer, you look up and you find the target. It's research that could help train police officers. What Jones Research has done for us is actually put some numbers to it. Uh, really defined that uh, an officer-involved shooting takes place uh, in less than a heartbeat. And there are a number of critical factors that occur in that very, very small uh, uh, small time frame uh, that we need to continue embracing in our training program. Research that has many police departments looking at how they train their recruits. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com